So this is endless mode uh, for Anomaly Wars on Earth. Uh, basically the idea here is you've perfected your strategy in single player campaign and now you're looking for something a little bit harder, a little bit more challenging. Uh, and this is it. Uh, you have a series of waves, much like a horde or firefight in some other games, where you uh, are tasked with destroying all of the enemies uh, as quickly as possible. If you do not make it within, if you do not destroy all the enemies within the time limit, or your unit fails, to, uh, your unit does not survive, uh, it's game over. Uh, the first few are not that difficult. Uh, it ratchets up over time. You have to make sure that you destroy all the units within the time limit, but at the same time, you know, there might be resources on the edge of the map that you want to go get so that you can buy more units or upgrade your units. So you have to be very careful and balance it. Uh, you'll notice here that we have the commander's four deployables are all here. Uh, as the repair tool that he can throw down, the smoke screen, the decoy, and yes, that's an airstrike, so the commander himself can actually participate in the combat now. Unfortunately, it's a very powerful attack, and as such, it's very limited. In addition to uh, the risk and reward for resources, you're also looking for a high score here. So, again, you'll want to, you have to make the balance, or the judgment between whether or not you want to go buy all, get all the resources and lose your multiplier, or take the risk and go as, after as many enemies as you can in a short amount of a time as you can to uh, increase your multiplier. The higher the score, the higher you are in the leaderboards, and the more envious the world is of you. So even though we're referring to this as endless mode, um, there is actually an end. Assuming that you can survive through it, it will take you about three hours to complete. Uh, if you're good enough, that is. Uh, you'll also, as the game progresses and matches come in, you'll also start to see some variety in uh, day and night cycle and weather. Just uh, those do not have an effect on the overall gameplay, but they do keep things visually interesting uh, so you do not get bored with staring at the desert. We also have other environments in the game uh, that we're not really talking about at this time, but there is another map for Endless Mode that uh, different layout and different look to it. So there's a lot here uh, to sink your teeth into. As you progress through the game, you get more, you, there are more unit types. Not all are final yet, but uh, definitely going to have a large variety for you to choose from and make your own strategy. Uh, so once again, thank you for looking at uh, Anomaly Warzone Earth, and it will be available uh, through digital distribution on PC and Mac in early 2011 with iPad and iPhone versions to follow shortly thereafter.